respected faculty, admin, and peers, ni hao. Writing this speech was very challenging for me because how do I talk about an experience as unique as DKU? How do I summarize the journey we have had throughout the past four years? So I took a little trip down memory lane, went through old pictures, zoomed screenshots, and even went on DKU's YouTube channel to look at videos. I might have cried doing that, but I think it also just made me cherish all the times we spent together even more. April 26th, 2018. To many, it's just another day, but for me, I think it was the day that changed my life. It was DKU's first admitted student experience, and I know that when we got there, we saw this blank canvas of a university, and we were excited, yet fearful, of, at the prospect of being its caretaker. But let's be honest, for the 95% of us, what really sold it were the beautiful, beautiful fireworks. Today, we are the first batch of undergraduate graduating students from DKU. Who else would have had the opportunity to dismiss a college mascot just because it was not an animal? I do miss Dudu, even though it did not get past its naming phase. We helped to shape and develop university policies as we lived through them. We started more than 60 clubs and societies in our first year, despite having to contemplate between getting watermelon from the salad bar or ordering Shandong Shui Jiao, passing integrated science, practicing the ah, 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 ah in Chinese 101, or even figuring out which buses goes to Oshang or Zhou Fang. Remember, all of this was also done through the sugar haze of a developing boba addiction. Unfortunately, our time on campus was cut short because of the pandemic. But as it continues to build borders and distances between us, we still have managed to nurture the relationships we built for ourselves. This is what I think is our best achievement. Yes, we may have already surpassed all the postgraduate experiences um, and opportunities, but for me, I don't think this is as important as the fact that we represent 27 countries and have our differences but if someone needs a laundry token at 2 a.m., we know for sure that someone will come to drop it off. We will actually not talk about why we are all up at that time. But in what I call a post quenchan era, we were still there for each other throughout terrible internet connections, loss of loved ones. We have worked together on most things for the past four years. And this is why I'm confident that even after we part ways, if I send a message on one of the big WeChat groups, I know for sure that there will be someone responding regardless of what time it may be. What is DKU? I think that is quite a difficult question, but I'll take a go at answering it. I remember working with so many of you to launch DKU's first arts and music festival where we had artists, designers, filmmakers, and different other kind of artists come in from all over the world. That's DKU. Coming here as freshmen, signing up to be a part of what we call a giant um, higher ed experiment with a truly, truly unique curriculum, and then discussing policies with deans as you're making food at their place at 9 p.m., that's DKU. Instantly switching between English, Chinese, Urdu, Arabic, French, Spanish, and even Italian, as you're sitting in the cafeteria having food with at least one person from a different continent, that's DKU. We are DKU. Four years ago, we had trouble translating the word liberal arts into Chinese because there wasn't a word for it. And today, I'm struggling to find adjectives to describe my classmates because I feel like no collection of words can fully describe and do justice to the ambition, compassion, and resilience the class of 2022 embodies. Every conversation I have had with each individual, regardless of the discipline, has taught me new things and even given me answers to questions I did not think I should be asking. Our peers have made us better people, so a big thank you to all of you. Thank you to all the faculty for the advice, mentorship, and support. You have shaped our lives in irreversible ways, and we will always be exceedingly grateful for your presence. 
Thank you to our admin, listening to our complaints, supporting us throughout arguably the worst transition phase any university can have, and trusting us to help shape this university. I can't skip out on thanking our families too. They have been one of the biggest pillar pillars of support, and unfortunately, we do not have all of them present with us today. But I know they are watching this here with us with immense pride. Last but not least, a thank you to all the IEs, security guards, why my drivers and cleaners. Without you all, we would not have had a wholesome experience at DKU. Congratulations, class of 2022. I'm so proud of how far we have all come, and I'm excited to see where we go. Thank you.